at Skywalker Ranch with Matthew Wood. Jimmy, good, good to, to see, see you. you. Good to see you in your in your uh, native environment. Yeah, here. we always sit here with a nice. We put a placard up whenever we're working on the, what film we're working on. And it says like we just so we know what we're working on. The microphone's usually in the way of the console, and we're yeah no. Well, we're here to talk about Star Wars. Yes, one Star Wars 3D. It's kind of like a family reunion. It is. You know, it's I can't believe it's been like 12, 13 something years. Uh, and uh, I'm just, you know, going back and listening to the sound library and the stuff we used to do, um, talking with Ben Burt. And this film was uh, a challenge just because of, you know, it was the first time a Star Wars film had been made in a long time. And for me, it was a huge goal to work on Star Wars film. So I was entirely stoked to be yeah. working on it. Um, and then going out and recording all those vehicles for the pod race was my first sort of task on the job for Ben. And uh recorded all kinds of cool stuff and it's just fun to watch it again and see it in the theater you know and like hear it all big again so you blend all those sounds together G yeah. give me an example of what sort of real world sounds we're hearing when we watch the pod race well the pod race is built up of a lot of things you know um, ben has a huge library but then also i went out and recorded uh, like an unmuffled ferrari uh this like cigarette boat um some uh this turbo truck that was out at this crazy race course a little bit north of here where you could basically trick out your car slap a number on the side of your car sign a waiver and then just drive on this race course to your heart's content and so i got all these this weird porsche that had this modified engine became anakin's pod and that turbo truck became uh uh Sebulba. so it's just uh just that, that kind of stuff, you know, you go out in the real world and record it and bring it back and then Ben does a lot of magic on it. Sebulba's so pod racer certainly does have a very distinct sound, yeah. especially when the close-ups have yeah, the sort of, yeah, that, that thumping thump yeah. sound. And, and uh, so that, that's a very cool sound. And, and, and some other sounds from uh, the film, like the uh, Naboo Starfighters, for example. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what the origins of those sounds are? Naboo, the Naboo uh, Starfighter, I'm trying to remember what that one was. That's a good question. I don't actually remember that one. Um, but stuff like, uh, you know, like the, I guess it's called the bongo, the bongo? The, the that, underwater The, under, the Naboo uh, yeah. thing. That's like, that's synthesized from a program called Kima. And we actually yeah, used this um, this little wavetable synthesis thing to make that little kind of sound that goes on there. Um, that Kima actually, incidentally, was the same uh, program we used to create Wally for uh, Wally. So like a lot of these oh, things match up, uh, like, you know, with Ben. Um, yeah, just a lot of a lot of a lot of good memories. I mean, it was a long process coming up with a lot of the, the, the sounds in, in Phantom Menace, uh, and then just all the different actors we recorded and all the different locations we went to for that. And uh, we did a lot of recording actually in uh, the Bahamas and Bermuda, recording like actors, just because we I, I invented this technical system to record actors remotely with ADR using a very small technical setup. So we were like, Sam Jackson was like, well, why don't we do it? Uh, you know, in Bermuda, we were like, sure. So <laughs> we recorded like for about a week down there. Yeah, really fun. get you on a plane. Yeah. Now, uh, we've been watching a scene here from uh, Phantom yes. Menace. I think you should be play a battle droid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, so we got the scene where, where they're trying to break out of the Naboo hangar. And so I don't know if you've seen this before. Uh, once, maybe. But, maybe um, when it first came out, I saw it Do once. you think you want to do it without sure. even seeing it? Do you think you could do it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we'll mute out the original produc uh, production of the, the, the battle droid, and then we'll have you supplement the voice and so when you see his arm go up for the halt that's when you can start got it halt i'm ambassador to the supreme chancellor i'm taking these people to coruscant where are you taking them to coruscant uh that doesn't compute uh wait uh oh, uh, uh you're under arrest <laughs> <laughs> that's good yeah Mix it up a little bit. Given I like I like my battle droids to have a certain amount of uh, wacky personality. Yeah, that's good. So Zach will whip that up for us. And uh, see, I've, 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 I'm now to the point where I don't have to actually do the work anymore. Now I just talk about you it. Just, yeah, you just delegate just authority. Just head. Well, you're General Grievous, of that's course. Right, yeah. I mean, <laughs> nobody would expect anything less. <laughs> so tell us about this room we're in. We're in, a, in an amazing This is called theater. Stage A. It's also called the Akira Kurosawa Room. And uh, it used to be a Foley stage, but uh, it was such a large theater that George wanted to turn it into a mixed stage. And um, I think we did Jurassic Park, Titanic the prequels, uh, and this is also the favorite room for Pixar. We do all the Pixar films wow, in here. Really? It's a larger room, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it looks pretty fancy. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I think even in the cement somewhere, Akira 
Kurosawa himself came in here and signed in the cement. Uh, there's like a little plaque over there somewhere. Oh, cool. But uh, seal great of room. approval. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's a big room. It's good. So I think we're ready to see our, our big scene here. Okay. Here we go. Um. I'm ambassador to the Supreme Chancellor. I'm taking these people to Coruscant. Where are you taking them? To Coruscant. Uh, that doesn't compute. Uh, wait, uh, oh, uh, uh, you're under arrest! Good stuff, man. Matthew, thank you so much, Great to man. see you, Jimmy. Maybe, uh, maybe for the next, the 40 release, we can put that yes. uh, little vocal track we'll in We'll try there, to do huh? that. Sneak it yeah. by George. Yes, I think we'll do that. I think okay. we'll be able to do it. Thank you so Good much, Good to see you man. again, Take as care, always, buddy. man. Yep. Take care.